maxima bisection method find root of an equation x cube minus x minus 1 equal to 0 using bisection method all of we know that uh, by using bisection method we can solve an algebraic and transcendental equation okay so the first step we want to determine uh, roots containing uh, interval containing uh, roots so first we assume here f of x is equal to x cube minus x minus 1 so here if we take x is equal to 0 then f of 0 is equal to minus 1 since root always lie between one positive and one negative number f of 1 is also minus 1 since this is also less than 0 this is also less than 0 uh, f of 2 is equal to uh, 8 minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 5 greater than 0 so we know that uh, the root lie between interval a b if if f of a into f of b is less than 0 okay uh, this is a condition for uh, roots lie in the interval a b so here you, you can observe f of 1 that is f of 1 is less than 0 and f of 2 is greater than 0 and therefore f of 1 into f of 2 is greater than z uh, sorry uh, f of 1 into f of 2 is less than 0 and therefore therefore uh, root lies in the interval 1 2 so now in the step 2 we assume that here we assume a is equal to 1 b equal to 2 and the the first root we assume here x0 is equal to x0 is equal to a plus b divided by 2 that is 1 plus 2 divided by 2 it is equal to 1.5 now we are going to determine sine of f of x0 that is f of 1.5 which is equal to f of x is x cube so it is 1.5 cube minus 1.5 x cube minus x minus 1 and if you solve this by using calculator then it is equal to uh, 0 0.875 which is greater than 0 and therefore since since f of x0 is greater than 0 therefore from the previous iteration uh, from a and b from a and b uh, f of uh, 1 f of 1 is less than 0 now since f of 1 that is f of a is less than 0 and therefore for the next iteration our interval is what the root lie between the root here f of a is what f of 1 f of 1 so root lies in the interval 1 and 1.5 so here we bisect our interval original interval and uh, now our interval uh, length is reduces and it, it is what 1 to 1.5 originally it lie between 1 to now it lie between uh, it lies between 1 and 1.5 for the in the next iteration step number 2 again x2 is equal to uh, that is x2 is equal to 1 plus 1.5 divided by 2 it is equal to uh, 2 uh, 2.5 divided by 2 so it is 1.25 and if you determine the sign of f of 1.25 1.25 it is equal to 1.25 bracket cube minus 1.25 minus 1 so it is equal to it is equal to uh, f of 1.25 is equal to minus 0 0.2969 minus 0 0.2969 now it is less than 0 now in from the previous interval uh, previous iteration in this uh, in the last iteration f of x0 is greater than 0 that is from this uh, if you see here this interval if we change here in this interval f of 1 is less than 0 but f of 1.5 is greater than 0 okay uh, f of 1.5 is greater than 0 and therefore 
and f of 1.25 is less than 0 now uh, since f of 1.25 is less than 0 and f of 1.5 1.5 is greater than 0 and therefore for our for next iteration our root lies between uh, 1.25 and 1.5 similarly if we proceed further uh, if we proceed further we get um, uh, the root of the given equation correct up to two or three decimal places uh, we are going to stop this process when our desire uh, when our two successive roots are correct up to two decimal places or or when we get the f of xn is equal to 0, 0.00 something okay so here we are going to use a basic uh, maxima to find a roots of the given equation so first we are going to assign the function f of x is equal to x cube x cube minus x minus 1 this is our function now next we want to determine a root uh, by using graphical technique we are going to check what is the root of the given uh, fun equation find it, uh, for that we, use, we are going to use the command wx plot 2d of f of x in the interval say since we define a function in terms of x in the interval say minus 2 to uh, or minus 3 to 3 minus 3 to 3 if we define here then we get this graph okay it is very large graph if we reduce size here say or if you write here wx plot again wx plot 2d today of f of x from the interval in the interval minus uh, sorry 0 to say 2 0 to 2 okay then then you can see here you can see okay here the root lie between uh, this is what here 0 uh, here it is 1 and here is 2 and you can see here at this point okay uh, this uh, curve intersect the x axis at this point so our uh, root lie between g, uh, 1 and 2 you can see here x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2 between these two points our graph intersect x axis so here we assume a is equal to a is equal to 1 and b is equal to b is equal to 2 so here a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 and x0 is equal to a plus b x0 is equal to uh, a plus b divided by divided by 2 divided by 2 so it is equal to 3 uh, 3 by 2 what we want here the root must be in uh, real number so in floating uh, floating type so we divide by 2.0 so it is 1.5 now next f of uh, f of x0 next we want to determine the sign of f of x0 so it is equal to 8, 0 0.875 it is a positive so our in the next uh, here uh, in the next interval here we also want to determine f of a into f of b f of a is equal to minus 1 and f of b f of b is equal to f of b is equal to 5 so f of a is minus 1 f of b is 5 and f of x0 is what f of x0 x0 is equal to 0 0.875 so for our next interval this is positive and negative is what a a is uh, f of a is negative so root lie between a and x0 root lie between a and x0 and therefore for x1 x1 uh, a plus x0 and we divide it by 2.0 2.0 we get it is what x1 is equal to 1.25 so f of one, f of 1 point or f of x1 is equal to f of x1 is what it is negative f of x1 is what negative and again from f of x0 and f of uh, a a and f of x0 f of x0 is what positive f of x0 and f of x1 is negative so our x2 for x2 our root lie between 
x0 x0 plus x0 sorry x0 plus x1 divided by 2.0 so if we divide it is 1 f 1.375 so now next f of x2 is equal to x0 x0 is what uh, x0 is sorry x0 is equal to mm, 1.5 so it is 1.5 and uh, the one root lie between 1.5 and uh, 1.25 and 1.75 okay uh, so uh, x0 is what x0 is 1.5 and here x1 is what 1.25 so the root lie between 1.25 and uh, 1.5 so the for our x2 is what 1.375 now f of x2 is equal to it is it is what positive positive so from x0 and x1 x1 is negative x1 is what negative so the, our next interval is what x1 x2 x1 x2 so the x3 is equal to x3 is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2.0 so now it is what 1.3125 and f of f of x3 is equal to it is negative it is what f of x3 is negative and f of from the uh, from this x1 and x2 x2 is positive so the x2 uh, root lie between x2 and x3 so the for the next interval x4 x4 x3 plus x1 uh, x the, what is x3 is negative and x2 is positive so x3 and x2 divided by 2.0 and if we divide it is 1.374 375 so the f of x4 is equal to f of x4 is equal to 0, 0.0 it is also positive now uh, since it is a positive and uh, x3 f of x3 is negative so the root lie between x3 and x4 so for x5 x5 is equal to x3 x3 plus x4 divided by 2.0 since we want since 1.328125 so now if you find f of x5 it is equal to 0 0.01 it is positive now you can see here f of x4 is positive x5 is positive and root lie between one positive and one negative so x3 is negative but what is x3 here x3 is negative now for x6 x6 root lie between x3 uh, from this the previous iteration x3 is negative x4 is positive now since x5 is positive and x3 is negative so root lie between x3 and x5 x3 plus x5 divided by 2.0 now it is 1.32013 uh, now you can see the the x5 and x6 these two roots uh, two roots of x5 and x6 are correct up to two decimal places or if you find here f of x6 you will get x6 is equal to zero, minus 0 0.01 uh, so we get minus 0 0.01 if you find one more iteration you get 0, 0.00 so here x7 is equal to x7 now f of x6 is negative and uh, what is f of x5 is positive so the root lie between x5 and x6 x5 and x6 so it is what x5 plus x6 divided by what 2.0 and so it is 1.3242 and if you find here f of f of x7 then we we'll get minus 0 0.00 you can see here we get 2 minus 0 0.2 times uh, 2 times 0 here 2 0 so it is very close to 0 so the the root uh, root uh, this root uh, 1.3242 these are correct up to two decimal places 
uh, you can use the inbuilt function also maxima to find the uh, to check your answer find for that you just enter the command find root f of x f of x uh, in the variable of x and uh, from uh, and x varies between x is equal to 1 to 2 and you will get what is the exact root it is 1.324717 this is the exact root of the given equation and here we get an approximate root by using by using bisection method it is 1.32 uh, uh, so you can observe here these two roots are correct up to that is this is what an cal, uh, calculated roots by using bisection method and this is what an, an exact root but these two roots are correct up to three decimal places okay so this is all about the bisection method so by using maxima you can also uh, uh, find, find you can also obtain uh, roots of the given algebraic and transcendental equation for, for that first you have to identify the interval containing root you can use the plotting method to identify your root of the given equation okay so thank you